a nice segue. Speaking of taking care, uh, the, one of my favorite uh, aspects of Tokyo Maverick into uh, my head. Top Gun Maverick. Maybe they're ready to fight and they just look at each other. Their wedding picture is beautiful. But yeah. Congratulations to the four lovebirds. Tokyo Station, fantastic. The humidity is noticeably high right now.、Um, so, when you're in Tokyo during summertime, make sure to bring、um, something to drink,、uh, not any of that sugary stuff, too, I might add. Because,、uh, yeah, you really gotta take care of yourself when you're walking through Tokyo.、Uh, but, but, hey, it's a nice segue. Speaking of taking care, Uh, the romance between Pete and Penny in the film.、Uh, one of my favorite、uh, aspects of Tokyo Maverick. Tokyo Maverick? Holy cow, here you go. See, this is the, the heat getting to、uh, my head. Top Gun Maverick. Maybe that'll be、uh, another film that you could write, Tokyo Maverick. But in any case, all jokes aside.、Uh, yeah, the romance between、uh, Penny and Pete. One of my favorite、uh, aspects of the film.、Uh, yeah, I guess、uh, something in terms of an arc starts off, I mean,、uh, starts off as a romance, but as the story progresses, definitely you can see more of that relationship、uh, between Penny and Pete. How they,、um, more like how he. Uh, goes to her for support. Goes to her for support、uh, when he、uh, when he finds his,、uh, find his finds himself back to、uh, North Island where all the、uh, Top Gun recruits、uh, go to to train.、Um, but yeah, he's. Finds himself back in North Island、uh, to become a teacher as opposed to a、uh, Top Gun pilot.、Um, he also finds his way back into the life of Penny,、uh, his love interest.、Um, let's see, yeah, you'll find that I'm just repeating myself, but.、Um, One thing as far as writing goes, it isn't just that、uh, kind of romance、uh, between two characters, but the relationship between the two characters that definitely something as far as、uh, an arc and writing, writing that arc from romance to relationship. Um, I think that was really strong in the film. So, when Penny and Pete do end up together at the end of the film, yeah, it's something that definitely、um, one of the better one of the better things in the story.、Uh, doesn't, feel, doesn't feel so cheap,、uh, definitely feels more earned. At least, uh, at least uh, between these two eyes.、Uh, but yeah, something to consider when you're writing.、Uh, and you're writing a romance.、Uh, don't just write a romance, but yeah, write how that romance becomes a relationship. And how the、uh, two parts of the romance 
becomes a relationship. Uh, some definitely something that yeah, audiences really hope for themselves, and they can experience it uh, vicariously through characters in Top Gun Maverick, Pete and Penny, more, uh, more specifically. Um, but yeah, I think maybe that's what we're looking at in terms of the arc, the romance arc, from romance to relationship. Top Gun Maverick, Penny and Pete, I'm sure that I'm not the only one who feels feels how well done that was written, how it was acted, how it was directed, how it was performed. Um, but yeah, definitely from romance to relationship, that arc. Uh, but yeah, here we are in Tokyo, Tokyo Station, and passing by all these great places to eat. I am really hungry. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening, and yeah, I hope I can show you more. Definitely, I do want to bring you more of Tokyo, of great writing. Uh, so, yeah, so far, uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Tokyo Station here. This is the Kite building. Kite means um, stamp. This used to be the used to be um, post office actually. They made it into a shopping complex. Uh, but yeah, look at that sky. The rainy season sky is when they clear up. You can have some of the most beautiful sunsets uh, throughout the year. Just a phenomenal place. And yeah, lucky this evening to see this sunset. And there's also other beautiful sunsets in the film Tokyo Maverick. Um, yeah, so definitely check it out. Um, either IMAX, 4DX, or Dolby Atmos. But I'm going to uh, give top score to the uh, IMAX experience of uh, Tokyo Maverick. Uh, really one of the better cinematic experiences of uh, recent times, especially during the Marvel Universe, uh, cinematic universe era of films. Um, don't think any of those films have quite that cinematic feel as Top Gun Maverick. Um, I think one of the things that it does well, Top Gun Maverick that is, uh, use of uh, silences. You don't really get that much silences in uh, MCU films. It's just kind of this constant barrage of uh, music and noise and explosions. And I think that's one of, uh, I think yeah, Tom Cruise has actually a lot of that type of Tom Cruise. I mean, the Tom Cruise films do have uh, a lot of that silent breaks uh, during a film where you just kind of hold your breath to see what happens. And in this film, yeah, more than once actually, they do something like that. And as far as uh, dialogue or catching or, you know, what those key how those key moments are constructed I think for me at least uh, everything in the story especially in cinema leads up to that silent moment where just it is no words that um, could ever do justice to the scene um, that suspension of belief just holding your breath to see uh, what's going to happen. I think uh, one of the best moments I've ever felt in cinema, at least uh, with that type of thing, is uh, Roman Holiday when uh, Princess Anne 
meets uh, Joe at the end of the film to greet the uh, other journalists. Uh, but yeah, Rogue Nation has that as well. Um, when was it um, Tom Cruise's character and Rebecca Ferguson's character? They're trying to save. Um, was it Simon? Simon, the British actor. <clears throat> he strapped uh, bombs that have been strapped onto him, and then they're trying to save him. And then after doing so, uh, they're surrounded by uh, what was it the syndicates, uh, henchmen, and they're ready to fight. And they just look at each other, and the whole scene just becomes silent. No music, nothing. You just know that, yeah. Big actions are uh, gonna happen after that. But yeah, I think uh, Top Gun Maverick. Again, using sound and silences to great effect. And I, wow, this movie, even though I've just seen it for a third time, it, it just keeps getting better and better. I'm definitely gonna see it a fourth time. Uh, before it finishes this run and I'm definitely going to check it out in IMAX which I think is the best way to watch Top Gun Maverick and here in Tokyo wow we got two three holy cow we have three couples taking their wedding pictures beautiful uh, dusk sunset here uh, oh no, four! Holy cow, we got four. Uh, can't zoom in with this uh, app camera. But yeah, congratulations to the four lovebirds. And to you listening, thank you very much for taking the time to listen. And I hope you enjoy Top Gun Maverick. And I hope that uh, you'll find your way in Tokyo to enjoy the sights just as... Uh, all these people are doing doing now. Thanks again.